Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gate Engineering Online Learning Classes. Today in this video, we are going to solve a couple of problems related to the multiplexer. And uh, the problem kind of a little advanced instead of a basic problem. So uh, this is a very basic problem uh, and the second problem will be a little advanced. So let me see, uh, 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 in this question we have to find the output chat and uh, inputs are given, select lines are also given. So in this circuit, we have given S1, which is grounded, S0 is Y. It means S1 is 0, S0 is Y. Input lines are given, I0 is X, I1 is plus 5 volt, it means it's 1. High level is 1, grounded is 0. So I1 and I2 both are 1, I3 is Y. Inputs and select lines. So I'll note down uh, all the input values. I0 is equal to X. I1 is equal to I2, which is 5 volt, it means it is equal to 1. I level and I3 is Y. Apart from the input lines, select lines are S1 which is equal to 0 because it is given as grounded, S0 is equal to Y. And this is 4 cross 1 multiplexer because 4 input lines and 1 output line. And we know the expression of 4 cross 1 multiplexer is Z which is S1 complement, S0 complement, I0 plus S1 complement S0 I1 plus S1 S0 complement I2 plus S1 S0 I3. I will substitute the given information here and uh, we'll get the output value or output expression. Z is equal to S1 complement that is 0 complement is 1. S0 complement is Y complement. I0 is plus S1 complement is 1, S0 is Y into I1 is 1. I1 is 1 plus S1 is 0, S0 complement is Y complement, I2 is also 1 plus S1 0, S0 Y, I3 is also Y. So here we have expression from first term is XY complement. Second expression is second term is 1 dot y is y and next two terms are 0. But, but product of 0 are 0. So now we can use the distributive law. With the help of distributive law, it can be expand x plus y into y complement plus y and x plus y is our answer because y complement y is equal to 1. So this can be written as x plus y dot 1 which is equal to x plus y. So output of this multiplexer is nothing but x plus y for the given multiplexer. Coming to the second problem, in the second problem we have given three multiplexer and size of each multiplexer is 2 cross 1. So this circuit is consists of 2 cross 1 multiplexer and there are two outputs, one is z1, second one is z2. From this circuit we have to find the output function z1 and z2. So let me see, we will start from first multiplexer that is the leftmost multiplexer. And we know the expression of 2 cross 1 multiplexer is kind of let's see z is equal to s complement i0 plus s i1. Here 0 means input 0 i0, 1 means input 1 i1. So in the multiplexer 0 is i0 and this 1 is i1. And if we we'll find the z0, z0 will be s0 complement i0 plus s0 i1 s0 is b which is b complement i0 is a complement plus s0 is b i1 is a so it is nothing but expression of a x or b or it can be written as a x or b complement so this is a plus a b plus a complement b complement which is equal to a x or b complement now we need to find the z1 and z2 z1 and z2 are the output of the circuit and Z0 is the slack line. So this input, this Z0 will behave like a slack line to the next two multiplexer. So we'll solve it. Z1 is equal to S0 complement, C0, C complement plus S0 into C. Because I0 is C complement, I1 is 1. Now I'll substitute the S0 and in this expression. S0 is what? Nothing but Z0. Now this S0 is same as the Z0. Z0 is A complement B, A, A, A X or B complement, so double complement will be A X or B. 
multiply with the C complement plus S0 is AX or B complement multiply with the C. This expression is what? This expression is nothing but it is equal to AX or BX or C. So Z1 is AX or BX or C. Similar way we can find the expression for Z2 which is equal to S0 complement B plus S0. Okay, so I will solve this expression in the next slide. So Z2 is equal to S0 complement B plus S0 C H I0 is equal to B and I1 is equal to C. Now we know S0 is AX nor B and it can be written as X0 complement can be written as AX or B into B plus S0 can be written as A X or B complement into C. Therefore, it can be written A complement B plus A complement B plus AB complement into B plus A complement B complement plus AB. So here it is equal to A complement B plus A complement B complement C plus ABC. So this is the answer or expression for Z2. We have seen the expression for Z1, we have seen the expression for Z2. So to solve this problem, what we have done? First we find the Z2 and Z first we find the Z0 and Z0 uh, is the slack line to the next two multiplexer, and then we got the Z1 and Z2. Thank you very much for watching this video.